Good morning from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So the Pleasure Beach Resort, as it now is. Pleasure Beach Resort, Lancashire. Uh, Beach. South Shore. Beach. Blackpool. No, not stop Blackpool. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're here for the season launch of 2024. Quite odd this one because it's, the parks have been open for a couple of weeks already. So I'm not sure what they're going to announce, but I'm really, really excited. So what do you think? I have not been to one of these before. I'm excited. I so yeah, so we'll get a nice cup of coffee and something to eat as well. It's and we'll show you. on my day off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so Robbie's come to join us, which is nice. We, of course, I came last year with Casper. Hopefully, maybe, no, maybe we'll get some news on what they're going to be doing with, with Grand Prix since uh, they announced that's going to be standing but not operating for this season uh, whilst they look at the viability of a new ride. So uh, uh, yeah, uh, should we go in and have a look? Let's go in, it's cold outside. It's advertising light, pool festival there. It's just 18th to 26th of October. It's quite interesting, isn't it? So, uh, look at that. It's an interesting outfit, isn't it? Get yourself wearing that. Have that one then. Have that one. <laughs> there we go. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. So there we go. So here we're looking at all the exhibits for the local attractions here in Blackpool as well. So we've just had a wander around all the exhibitions because of course the season launch this year also includes the launch for the partners of Blackpool Bush Beach yeah. uh, and all the associated businesses for Blackpool as well. So that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's all the little exhibition upstairs, didn't it? Yeah, yeah it the, did, yeah. Uh, exhibited. It's, yeah, and we've got ourselves a little uh, swag. It's quite packed as well, uh, for all sorts of free tickets and uh, uh, stuff as well. So that's always nice, isn't it? We've yeah. come to these things. Uh, we've just had ourselves a, a, I had a nice peak and plot and a little cake to celebrate the launch of um, Showtime. I, just, I can't say it. The Showtime uh, Museum in Blackpool, which is one place I really want to go to. So, so, that's, so we'll definitely have to go there. So we've got, we also got some free tickets for that. And uh, so basically, if you're not aware, that's a museum that's dedicated to the history and uh, the entertainment of Blackpool, isn't it? So it looks really, really fun. So uh, yeah, we're just waiting for the launch now. I've got ourselves a nice coffee while we're waiting and uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer. Launch. But this year, with a little bit of a twist, because we're not just focusing on Blackpool Resorts, no, 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 Pleasure Beach Resorts, sorry, we are focusing on, with, combined with what's on Blackpool, everything that you can expect to see, all the spectacles, all the shows and extravaganzas that you can expect to see for our wonderful seaside town here in Blackpool over the coming months. So lots of information to get through, and we've got some very important, esteemed guests that are going to come out and talk to you about everything you can expect to see here at Witness over the next year. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, we need to move on and start proceedings. It's my pleasure to introduce to the stage this next wonderful young man. I've had the pleasure of knowing this young man for the last few years. He's, he's very hard working, he's conscientious, he's super good looking, he's talented, and he's paid three times more than I am. And I actually hate him. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, will you please welcome to the stage the brilliant, talented and very likeable young man, our Director of Marketing, Sales and PR here at Pleasure Beach Resorts, the wonderful, talented and good-looking Mr. James Cox. You know you have it. You think I'm all yes. big and magic. Come on, yeah. Dave. The way you're so dramatic. Sexy man. <laughs> I think I might make you a habit. Cheers, Dave. Your check's in the post, Dave. Um, welcome to Pleasure Beach Resort and thank you for taking the time to join us today. We've got a lot to get through and we can't wait to share all the exciting reasons to visit Blackpool in 2024. As always, the season kickstarts with the opening of Pleasure Beach. We open our gates for the first time this season on a very wet Saturday 2nd of March, giving Costa fans, families, couples and friends alike their first thrill fix of the year. We have just one white knuckle weekend left this Saturday and Sunday before we open daily for Easter to see in the May 2024 season. Here at Pleasure Beach, we're looking to the future and you may have seen our updated logo. We have so much more to experience here at Pleasure Beach with Ripley's, Adventure Golf, world famous ice arena where you can learn to skate, amazing shows and events, fantastic Christmas pantomime, grotto and of course the park at the centrepiece. We also have two fantastic hotels, one of which has recently won the award for Best Luxury Hotel in Northern Europe. It's all of these parts combined that make us Pleasure Beach Resort and a fantastic reason to visit Blackpool. This evolution to Pleasure Beach Resort is just the start. We're always looking at what we have in our 42 acres out there and we're always working on plans to improve our already great offering of rides and attractions. Now, 
We've been very busy over the winter preparing for an exciting season ahead. So let's take a little look at what we've been up to. The 2024 season is just getting started here at Pleasure Beach Resort and things are looking a little bit different around here. Now over the winter we've invested millions into our rides so here's a behind the scenes preview of what we've been up to and what you can expect to see this year. Rumour has it there's a bit of a milestone birthday going on this year but that's not all that's been going on with the big one. We've been continuing our ongoing investment and maintenance of our most famous ride which includes retracking about 350 metres of track overall. This work will make your ride experience better than ever and call us buyers, but no matter how high you might be able to get to, our views cannot be beaten. Back on the ground, we've been investing time and passion into our dark rides this winter, from staffing new features and additions to the ghost train and a sprinkling of magic throughout Alice in Wonderland. And there's even more to come, with investments coming to Impossible, Wallace and Gromit, Sermomatic, and of course, Valhalla. I mean, you don't win best water ride in the world seven years in a row by standing still or keeping dry. It's not all about what's new though. There's so much hard work and huge investment that goes on behind the scenes, making sure our existing rides and attractions are in top condition. Over the winter months, our team has been incredibly busy engineering, maintaining, painting and more, so that everything is at its very best for the season ahead. Sometimes ride areas need to evolve too, and this year we're sad to be saying goodbye to our Grand Prix ride. But don't worry, we promise to send it off in style with a little celebration. Over at Nickelodeon Land, we've got some exciting events happening for the 2024 season. We're more slammed than ever. We've bolstered our on park entertainment for this year. And that means two more firework nights more events and more late night riding and live action performances like you've never seen before at Pleasure Beach. Speaking of entertainment, did you know all our costumes are made by a talented team here at Pleasure Beach Resort? Right now they are fixing feathers and sewing sequins ahead of our world famous hot ice show which opens in July. And there are loads more events to look forward to like party nights, pantomime and the return of our terrifying journey to hell. <gasps> Expect reimagined scare zones, new opportunities to ride after dark, and more fright nights than ever before. Moving to 2024, we've got Juiced Up with healthy and tasty smoothies giving you the energy boost you need for your next ride. We also have a brand new menu at TCAP with a taste of grease as we're serving Euros, making our exciting food offering even better. And where better to eat your lunch than outside Wallace and Gromit's Thrillomatic? Whilst listening to Pleasure Beach Radio, of course, back on the Airways 2024. And don't forget to request your songs on our socials or at the radio station. What's your request, Liv? Hmm, I've got to say, I've got a golden ticket from the Alice in Wonderland ride. We've made staying at our hotels even better this year too. We free park tickets when you stay at the Boulevard on a Thursday or a Sunday. Or we have our family adventure package which includes a three night stay at the boulevard, one day's tickets to Pleasure Beach Resort, one round of adventure golf, and one day's admission to Ripley's Believe It or Not. And did you know, we were recently awarded the best luxury hotel in Northern Europe. Whatever your pleasure, there's so much more to experience here at Pleasure Beach Resort. From our amazing rides and attractions, to fantastic live entertainment and luxury hotel stays. So, there's only one thing left to do, and that's come and experience it for yourself. As you can see, there's lots of hard work that gone into the winter to get the park ready for the season ahead. And the perfect way to enjoy Pleasure Beach is with a season pass, and these are now on sale. We're open 217 days this year, and a season pass provides unbelievable value for money to experience all of our rides and events. Beyond the investment into maintaining and improving our rides, there's lots more that as a business we're really proud of. We have our junior board, which brings 12, 11, 16 year olds from around the country and from all different backgrounds together for quarterly meetings to discuss the future of the park and promote ideas from a younger person's perspective. 
We invest heavily in training and apprenticeships and currently have more than 20 apprentices working across diverse areas including construction, engineering, operations and electrical. We view an apprenticeship as a valuable step in a long career with us and over the last 12 months everybody who has completed an apprenticeship has secured permanent employment here at Pleasure Beach. Our work with apprenticeships isn't, apprentices sorry, isn't going unnoticed and it's resulted in us being shortlisted in a large employer category at the Lancashire Apprenticeship Awards. And one of our catering apprentices, Jade Angle, is shortlisted in the Advanced Apprenticeship category and the winners will be announced next Wednesday. We also have an education academy, working together with schools to provide lessons linked to national curriculum with a particular focus on STEM due to our engineering expertise. We also work with schools to create opportunities for exposure to the arts with the likes of Hot Ice and Pantomime. And we're making huge strides as a business in our goal to become more sustainable. With significant energy saving improvements to Valhalla, less plastic and cardboard pack packaging utilisation, and new technologies such as heat pumps and a dedicated sustainability task force to drive home this important objective. So carrying on the feel good factor, we've had an excellent award season too. When people are visiting your hotels and our town, they also have the opportunity to experience some of the world's leading rides here at Pleasure Beach Resort. In 2023 alone, Pleasure Beach won 12 awards for our rides and attractions, including the Golden Tickets Award for the best water ride of the world for the seventh time with Valhalla. We also took home eight awards at the UK Theme Park Awards, and the awards kept on coming with more for Valhalla and Hot Ice at the Park Excellence Awards and European Star Awards. Now to top all of that off, we're currently ranked the best amusement park in the UK and 8th best in the world in the TripAdvisor's Traveller's Choice Awards. These awards represent the very best of the attractions industry and it's right here in Blackpool. We're also very proud to have been awarded the best luxury hotel in Northern Europe with the Boulevard. Now if you're looking for a hotel in Blackpool and a bit of luxury then this is the place to be. Fully equipped with exceptional meeting and conference space, as well as breakout rooms for smaller groups. The Boulevard is the perfect place for both work and pleasure. And just over the road, we have the affordable luxury in the Big Blue Hotel, which continues to deliver events quality. Events are going to be absolutely fantastic. The first one of which is at the end of this month, the 30th of March, so please spread the word and get booking your tickets. But, however, as I said at the beginning of the show, we're not just focusing today on Pleasure Beach Resource. No, 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 we're going to have a look at the whole of Blackpool in its, in its entirety and to, to deliver what you can expect uh, for the next coming months. So it's my pleasure now to introduce to you the first of our guest speakers. So please join me and put your hands together and give a warm welcome to the stage the Leader of the Council, Councillor Liam Williams. Um, morning everybody, um, it, it's wonderful to welcome um, you all here to a season launch for 2024. Um, it's just a matter of weeks since we switched off the illuminations to bring down the curtain on the 2023 season. Um, and what a season uh, with record numbers of visitors attending major events such as the Air Show Weekend and World Fireworks and of course um, at the Switch On event, the biggest crowds that we've ever witnessed um, at a Switch On event. Um, really show what Blackpool and the Illuminations mean to people. The extension to the Illumination season, coupled with an expanded Christmas by the Sea Village, once again proved a huge success. Over those eight weeks, between mid-November and early January, we saw footfall on the promenade of almost eight million, with more than half of that coming from outside the Fylde coast. That footfall, re footfall uh, represents astonishing growth of almost 2 million compared to the previous year. What all of this means is that post-Covid we've established Blackpool as a compelling and credible winter destination with multiple national surveys putting us alongside the likes of London and Edinburgh. Gentlemen, boys and girls, introducing Blackpool's newest attraction and its first ever museum. It's Showtown, Museum of Fun and Entertainment, located on the promenade just by Blackpool Tower. We have thrills galore, hard wires to climb, Russian gymnasts, an army of mines, the scariest lions, the most elegant horses, the funniest of clowns and the tightest of corsets. Prepare to be amazed at history, artefacts and stories of Blackpool, the greatest showtown. It's lights on, curtains up, it's showtime. 
for Showtime. Thank you so much. It's fantastic to be here and it's the first time I've actually been able to stand up in front of an audience and say not what we're going to be but actually what we now are and it feels totally amazing. So I want to tell you a little bit about Showtown and uh, what we've got going on down there for those that haven't yet be, uh, ventured down in our first opening week. So for those of you who don't know, we opened last Friday the 15th of March putting a bright new spotlight on what we do brilliantly in Blackpool. We've uh, had the, the fortunate ability to be able to generate lots of regional and national uh, media, print and broadsheets including the Guardian Observer, the Financial Times, the Mirror and the Telegraph. And that's been supported by national radio interviews on Radio 4, um, and by lots of TV coverage, including BBC things that you can take your families to, tell all your friends, guests, uh, and, and people that you know all about. Get them down there. Like, well, let's get support. Let's get behind it. Let's have a wonderful season in 2024. We have one more uh, guest speaker to come out and see you, ladies and gentlemen, to tell you all about the fantastic shows that you can see this year throughout Blackpool. So please, for the final time, welcome back to well, welcome to the stage, should I say, our head of tourism, Mr. Philip Welsh. Good morning everyone. I think Dave forgot the wonderful, talented, good looking bit on my screen. But anyway, just saying. That said, I think I'm probably going to adopt this sort of introduction for my next team meeting. Uh, I'd like to spend the next part of our season launch uh, just touching on uh, the expansive programme uh, of marketing and events uh, that will support our tourism economy uh, in 2024. Let me start by giving you just a flavour uh, of what we do best. Now, hmm, think you know Blackpool? Well, think again. Let me get your moment in. We're giving you bird's eye views. I don't mean they're like ice. Ooh, the best guy for those. Tranquil. <laughs> when you've got all this in just one place, it's insane. You can have your chips and eat some too. Oh, 
series of wow, wow, wow. But we go on this to say what wow, there's so many things, and also thank you to Lynn and to Liz and, and to Philip uh, today for giving up their time to come present to you all the wonderful things that you can witness and experience in Blackpool throughout the coming months and the coming year. Ladies and gentlemen, there's so much to see, so much to do. Please spread the word. Blackpool is the best town in the northwest, the best town in Europe. Am I right? Yeah. I said, Am I right? Yeah. And speaking of some more fabulous shows, just in closing, uh, we need to welcome back uh, another young man who's going to tell you all about what you can witness here at Pleasure Beach Resorts regarding shows and things that are going on through the year. So please welcome back to the stage, Blackpool's answer to Chris Hemsworth, the wonderful James Cox. Thank you, Philip and Dave. As you can see, there's fantastic shows throughout the town, and just as we invested in our rides, we continue to invest in live entertainment to provide more reasons to visit Pleasure Beach. On Saturday the 11th of May, we'll be hosting our second Eurovision Fan Zone, back by popular demand after last year's success. So join us to see if the UK can win their sixth title. Summertime Games will be back in the hub from the 26th to the 31st of July with our entertainment team giving all our guests the chance to become Pleasure Beach record holders. And Twilight Thrills are truly better than ever this year, with more investment into the entertainment that supports all the thrills of the rise in those twilight hours. Our first event is just over a week away on the 30th of March, where you can join the party near the Grand National with a light and LED theme. We've also increased the number of late night riding with fireworks nights for 2024 with two new dates added to give more opportunity for enjoying our rides after the dark where the park has a completely different feel. And what better way to finish than with a fantastic themed firework display over the skies of Pleasure Beach. Similar to Twilight Thrills, we've bolstered our entertainment offering on these special nights to make them even more memorable. Now I can't believe we've gotten this far without mentioning our soft skinned friends. We're still the only place in the UK where you can meet your favourite Paw Patrol pups or Bikini Bottom stars daily. And it isn't just character appearances down at Nickelodeon land. We've got an ever-evolving lineup of events with more still to be added. Confirmed so far are Paw Patrol Month in June, SpongeBob Month in July, and of course the fan favourite Summer of Slime returning this August. In September, we welcome back the Bavarian Stompers for Oktoberfest in the Hull. An excellent opportunity to get drunk, dance and pretend that you're in Germany. And our terrifying journey to hell takes place from the 11th to the 31st of October, where you can expect reimagined scare zones, new opportunities to ride after dark and more frights than ever before. Over to the horseshoe now, and Ken Webster is bringing his outrageous comedy hypnotism act back to the casino building, performing from Easter Saturday until the 9th of November. And as guests here today, you're all welcome to attend one of Ken's shows with his complimentary tickets. Evolution of Magic returned with a brand new show, Identity, to join Britain's Got Talent's Liz Best and the fantastic Craig Christian in the horseshoe from the 5th of July until the 31st of August. And Circus of Horrors will be performing in this very theatre 26th of October until the 3rd of November. As they bring to town the ever popular rock show combined with amazing, bizarre and daredevil circus acts. Back to the park briefly, to wrap up the season we have Winter Weekends which will run throughout November, culminating with a season finale fireworks display on the 30th. And we're delighted with the performance of our Christmas pantomime as it continues to grow year on year, wowing more and more families. This year's pantomime is Aladdin, so join us from the 23rd of November to the 24th of December as we follow the story of Aladdin and Jasmine with more than just a few funny goings on in between. Keeping with the festive theme, our Christmas grotto will be open from the 16th of November to the 24th of December where you can meet Santa and his elves in his magical workshop, taking home a very special gift and enjoying the warm mulled wine or hot chocolate before taking a ride on Alice in Wonderland. And our final show of the year is of course Christmas Party Nights and this year's theme is Hollywood. So dress to impress and dance the night away from the 6th to the 21st of December with a fantastic three course dinner and spectacular show. And it wouldn't be a season launch without a very special mention for hot ice. This year's hot ice show is Eternity, 
dazzling combination of unbelievable costumes, amazing choreography and spellbinding performances from Olympic athletes from around the world. Hot Ice runs from the 4th of July until the 7th of September, so let's see what you can expect. As you can see, there is so much more to experience here at Pleasure Beach Resort. We have an action-packed season ahead of us, with lots of exciting reasons to visit Pleasure Beach each month. Now for those of you that have managed to stay awake, please welcome back our Stageworks dancers. It's showtime. from the season launch for not just the Pleasure Beach but uh, the Black wider Blackpool tourism area wasn't it so obviously there's not a great deal going on at the Pleasure Beach this year so they've incorporated in a lot of the local businesses as well which is quite nice really yeah. isn't it uh, we've come away with uh, some complimentary tickets to uh, the Showtime Museum which is one of the places we really wanted to go we yeah, were talking about exactly, that wasn't it yeah, it's good, so, yeah. so that's good so we'll get to check that out we also got some complimentary tickets to uh, Passage del Terra so We've not done that together, oh, have we? So, um, <laughs> it's really scary, but so, we'll have to do it. So we'll do that. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be good. One of our date days, we'll check that out. And we also got some tickets for the Hot Ice as well. So, and that's a world class show, in fairness, isn't it? Yeah. And you've not, you've, have you seen Hot Ice? <laughs> so there we go. So, uh, so that gives us the opportunity to see that as well. So that's really, really good for new for this year. It's called Eternity, the show, and that starts in July. So we'll look forward to watching that. Um, yeah. So the breaking news from that was about Grand Prix, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Sure. So th they've said that they're going to get, uh, basically it's not it's not closed forever as it is, but it's going to be given a good send off or we're going to be given the opportunity for it to give it a send off as they said, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, that's good, isn't it? Because I think everyone was really disappointed that they announced that, didn't they? Yeah, the, the yeah. The weekend and it was short and for a lot of people it has like a lot of nostalgia, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course because it does. we all went on it when we were little kids and our little kids have gone on it and it's just, it's been there for a very long time. It has, it? So it's yeah, good yeah. to hear that they're going to do something probably due to all the feedback they've had on it. Exactly, I would imagine, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's really good to hear that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so what that's going to be, they haven't said. So um, uh, we'll, we'll keep you posted on as and what that actually is but uh, yeah that, that's good that we'll actually be able to give it a good send off anyway so uh, yeah thank you very very much for watching uh, it means a lot to us it really really does uh, if you have liked this video as always don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to us for more videos in the future as well so thank you very much and there's, that's it from us so don't forget to let the positivity in and ride it out bye guys bye.